Hello friends. In the learning of root cause analysis, so far, we had seen four tools and techniques to identify the root cause of the problem, and to initiate effective countermeasures, to avoid the reoccurrence of the problem. These are, 5Y analysis, fishbone diagram, FMEA, that is, failure mode and effects analysis, and Pareto chart. If you want to learn them or refresh your knowledge regarding these tools, please visit the playlist named, Root Cause Analysis. In this video, we are going to learn one of the important tools to root cause analysis, that is, scatter diagram, with the help of practical examples for easy understanding and better clarity. So, let's begin. Scatter diagram. It is also called as, scatter plot, XY graph, and correlation chart. The scatter diagram graphs pairs of numerical data, with one variable on each axis to look for a relationship between them. If the variables are correlated, the points will fall along a line or curve. The better the correlation, the tighter the points will hug the line. When to use a scatter diagram? The scatter diagram is used in the following conditions. 1. When you have paired numerical data. 2. When your dependent variable may have multiple values, for each value of your independent variable. 3. When trying to determine whether the two variables are related, such as when trying to identify potential root causes of problems. After brainstorming causes and effects using a fishbone diagram, to determine objectively whether a particular cause and effect are related. When determining whether two effects that appear to be related, both occur with the same cause, and when testing for autocorrelation before constructing a control chart. Scatter diagram example. Let's take a simple example of the ice cream shop, to understand the scatter diagram. The local ice cream shop keeps track of, how much ice cream they sell versus the noon temperature on that day. Here are their figures for the last 12 days. If we draw a scatter diagram for it, it will be looked like this. By looking at the diagram, we can easily see that warmer weather leads to more sales, but the relationship is not perfect. We will see the detailed procedure to create it in both Microsoft Excel, as well as in Minitab software. Before that, let's understand an important consideration of it. Scatter Diagram Considerations 1. Even if the scatter diagram shows a relationship, do not assume that one variable caused the other, both may be influenced by a third variable. 2. When the data are plotted, the more the diagram resembles a straight line, the stronger the relationship. 3. If a line is not clear, then the statistics determine whether, there is reasonable certainty that a relationship exists. If the statistics say that no relationship exists, the pattern could have occurred by random chance, we need to use correlation and regression in that case. 4. If the scatter diagram shows no relationship between the variables, consider whether the data might be stratified. 5. If the diagram shows no relationship, consider whether the independent variable, also called, x-axis, has been varied widely. Sometimes a relationship is not apparent because, the data don't cover a wide enough range. 6. Think creatively about how to use scatter diagrams to discover a root cause, and 7. Drawing a scatter diagram is the first step in looking for a relationship between variables. Procedure to draw scatter diagram in Microsoft Excel. Step 1. Insert or copy the data in the worksheet for which you want to plot a scatter chart. Let's have an example of study time versus marks obtained in a particular examination. Step 2. Select the data, which you want to plot in the scatter chart. Step 3. On the Insert tab, in the Charts group, click Scatter. Step 4. Select the scatter chart type, and we will get the scatter diagram as below. We can see that a student is likely to score more marks, if he or she studies more. Procedure to draw scatter diagram in Minitab. Let's see the detailed procedure to draw a scatter diagram in Minitab. Step 1. Insert or copy the data in the Minitab worksheet for which you want to plot a scatter chart. Step 2. Click in the graph menu, and select the scatter plot option, to draw a scatter diagram. Step 3. A scatter plot window will be opened. Select the simple option. Step 4. In Y variables select as a marks, and in X variables select as a study time, and then click OK. 
we will get the scatter diagram as below. Matrix scatter plot, this graph is used to test the relationship between more than two variables. Many software supports matrix scatter plot, which allows visualizing the relationship between pairs of multiple variables, in a single chart. In Minitab, the procedure for drawing matrix scatter plot is similar to scatter plot. The only change is, you have to select the matrix plot option instead of a scatter plot. Let's now consider three variables to see the relationship between them, that is, strength, pressure, and concentration. By selecting an option of matrix scatter plot, we can easily see the relationship between strength, pressure, and concentration. In the first column of the matrix scatter plot, we can see the relationship between strength versus pressure, and strength versus concentration. How to read the scatter plot? If the variables are correlated, the points will fall along a line or curve. The better the correlation, the tighter the points will hug the line. As we can see in the diagram, degrees of correlation varies from no correlation to perfect correlation, identified by the distribution of points along the line. The relationship between the variables can be of four types. 1. Positive correlation. It means, there is an increase in the level of one variable, after an increase in the level of another variable. 2. Negative correlation. There is a decrease in the level of one variable, after an increase in the level of another variable, and vice versa. 3. Curved. It is a combination of positive and negative correlations. 4. Partial. There is a relationship between variables up to a certain range, and thereafter some random behavior. This is all about the scatter diagram and matrix scatter plot with the help of practical examples. Now to end, please like this video if you have found it useful, add your valuable comments, and share this video with your friend and colleagues, to improve and refresh their knowledge. If you want to get updates of such videos from our channel, please do not forget to subscribe to it and click on the bell icon, and select to get all notifications. And finally, thank you for watching.